Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL tutorial with Learn at NoStar. Today's video is about adding a new column to your database table. But we want to add that column only if it does not already exist in the table. If it already exists, we do not want our code to throw an error. So how we can handle this scenario is what we are going to see in this video. We are going to be adding a new column to a table called customers. You can see this is an empty table right now. It has three columns, customer ID, first name and last name. Now let's say we want to add a new column email to this table. So what is the simple syntax to add a new column to a table is alter table and the table name. So dbo dot customers and then you have to put your at statement just the column name that you want to add so email the data type so let's say where care 100 and we are okay with this column being nullable so if you just execute this query then this query is going to add the column email to this table now we see that this column does not already exist so we are okay with this column with this statement but now we want to handle a scenario in which the column would have already existed in the table without the code throwing an error. Now to check if the column already exists in the database, we are going to make use of the system catalog of SQL Server. The system catalog is the SYS catalog. So you have tables called sysys.columns, sys.object and so on. This is this catalog provides the metadata information for SQL Server, so all the objects in your database. Now to check if the column already exists, we are going to check the value in a table called sys.columns which has information about the columns of these different database objects now we want to check the column of this particular table so we are going to pass the table id or the object id for that particular table so all the database tables views etc are objects in a database and they have associated a particular object id we can also perform a join with the sys.objects table and fetch the object id and so on but today we are going to use a function the object underscore id function which is going to fetch us the object id of the table so where object underscore id is equal to so for the function, we just need to write object underscore ID and pass in the table name as the argument value. Now it expects a Unicode value. So you have to write a capital N and a single code that makes whatever value you're passing to this parameter as a Unicode value. And then your table name, which is going to be dbo.customers. And this is going to return to you an integer value in the output, which is going to be the object ID. And we're going to add a condition and name. So this is going to be your column name is equal to email. And we have to enclose this within the ending code. So this is your statement. If I just execute this particular statement, you will see that I get nothing in the output because this column does not exist. Or if you just execute the query till here, you'll see all the column names will be displayed. So execute and you can see the column names are right over here. So this is what I'm going to use to see if the column does not already exist. So I'm going to simply enclose this within uh, if not exist clause. So if does not exist, which means if no record is returned output from this query, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a transaction statement. So begin and then I'm going to add or add this alt table, add column statement right over here. So I'm going to go over here, add my add column and then add the statement. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to execute this whole part together. You will see that the command has been completed successfully. Let's go back and check the customer table right over here. And you will see that a column has been added called email. Now, since this column already exists, I'm going to run this whole query once again, just to see that it works without throwing any error. So this is our entire query. Going to execute this again, you are going to see command completed successfully. So no error message here. And if you go back to your customer table, 
you see the column remains there intact so nothing has happened nothing has been altered in the customer table so you can add this simple statement to make sure that when you add a new column to your table and it already exists then you do not get an error message in your code if you want to avoid getting that message thanks a lot for watching this video if you found this video useful then please do subscribe to our youtube channel and we'll be posting many more videos soon thank